Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I want to share some basic tips on shooting video with your Olympus OMD cameras. Let's do this. Before we start, I would like to wish a beautiful Carrie happy birthday. Your beloved husband Lee contacted me a while ago and he told me that your birthday is coming up. So Carrie, have a wonderful celebration. Please eat the extra slice of cake for me and this video is dedicated to you. I also must clarify that I'm not a cinematographer. I rarely do any video recording with the Olympus OMD cameras. The only time I hit the record button is to do vlogs for this YouTube channel. However, a lot of people have been asking me to do a basic tips for shooting video with Olympus cameras. So with my limited knowledge and experience, I am sharing the best I can in this video. Tip number one, use the dedicated movie recording mode. Every time you're recording a video, please turn the mode down on your camera to the movie recording mode. This is extremely important. By doing so, the camera prioritizes movie recording, it unlocks all features, and ensures that your video recording is as smooth as possible. Have you heard of complaints such as when some people record videos with Olympus OMD cameras, the camera overheats, the video just randomly stops recording, or a lot of other issues? This happened because, and they didn't tell you that, that did not turn the mode down to the movie recording mode. They just hit the red record button at any other camera modes, either shutter priority or aperture priority. And when you use these other modes, the camera was not prepared and did not prioritize video shooting. I'm not saying that you cannot hit the record button when you're using any other modes. You can if you don't have time to react or prepare for that particular moment. If you just want to grab a quick click of that what you see is happening right in front of you, that's fine. But if you are doing a full video shoot, if you're preparing to do a serious video recording session, it is very, very crucial that you actually prepare the camera for that task. And to do so, you must set the mode down to the movie recording mode. Tip number two. Customize the function lever switch to dedicated movie recording shortcut. This is in relation to tip number one, where if you want to turn the mode dial to the dedicated movie recording mode, it takes several steps. You have to look at the mode dial, then you have to physically turn the dial. Sometimes in situations where you need to act very quickly, this will slow you down. Having a physical switch shortcut where you can quickly turn to the movie recording mode can be really convenient. To change the function lever settings, go to menu, under the clocks, go to B, B, then you go to function lever settings. Go in again, under function lever function, there are several modes. Find the one where it says changing to the shooting modes movie. So this is mode three. You can see position two is movie recording mode. Select mode three, and once you exit this, Right now I'm in movie recording mode, I'll change this to say program mode. So now in program mode, the function level switch is at position one. If I switch this to position two, now it's in position two, it's already in dedicated movie recording mode. If I change it to uh, position one, it goes back to stills recording. I think this shortcut can be really, really convenient. Tip number three shoot in video flat profile or lock profile if available. For top tier Olympus cameras such as EM1X, EM1 Mark II, and EM1 Mark III, the camera allows you to shoot in lock format, the OM Lock 400. This allows you to capture a lot more dynamic range in your video shooting, allow you to recover more details in the highlight and shadow region. Of course, this will also increase your flexibility when it comes to color grading in your post editing. I generally 
shoot in flat profile. I found that flat profile was sufficient for most of the things that I do. I am just shooting videos to show you guys in this YouTube channel. I'm not doing a documentary or a Hollywood production. But if you are serious about cinematography, if you're doing a serious video production, then I highly suggest that you shoot in the Olympus OMLOG 400. Olympus releases the official LUT profiles for you to download and apply to your both the flat profile as well as the log profile. You can find that at the Olympus website. I don't use the LUT, I don't apply any LUTs because I grade my footage manually. I find that it's good enough. I don't need any LUTs. But hey, it is available if you need them. I want to go into detail what the LUTs do, the lookup table, or what does log video means. If you want to find more information, there are a lot of other videos explaining that. Again, I must emphasize that I'm not a cinematography expert. I'm just sharing what I know about the Olympus camera. The flat profile and the log profile are hidden deep in the camera and are disabled by default. This is in video recording mode. If I go to the super control panel, if I select the picture modes, I can find the typical modes that are available for all other camera shooting modes. There's vivid, natural, muted, portrait, and all other modes, these are typical. You can use this for a video recording, but if you want the best out of your video shooting with your Olympus cameras, you should be using flat or the log profile. Now to find those, go to menu, Go to the third tab here. This is the video menu. If you are shooting video and you are getting serious about video shooting, do spend some time exploring this particular section, video menu. All the video-centric features are concentrated here. Now to find the flat profile or the log profile, go to specification settings, go in, turn on the picture mode. Once this is turned on, all the previous Picture profiles such as natural, vivid, portrait, muted are no longer there. This is replaced by two modes, flat or OMLOG 400. I typically use flat profile for most of my videos that you see on this YouTube channel, but if you are truly serious about video production, you should be using the OMLOG 400. Bear in mind that I also use the EM5 Mark III for most of the video shooting on the videos that you see uh, in this channel. The EM5 Mark III does not have OMLOG 400, it does have the flat profile. Tip number four, understanding movie recording modes in your Olympus OMD camera. When you're recording a movie, there are two different video stabilization modes, mode one and mode two. When you select mode one, the camera will utilize the built-in five axis image stabilization that shifts the image sensor plus digital stabilization. The electronic stabilization and the physical stabilization will give you a smooth, almost gimbal-like effect with an expanse of a little bit of cropped into the final image. If you select mode two, the camera will only utilize the five axis image stabilization, the sensor shift, the camera will not use any electronic digital stabilization. You will have the full width of the sensor being recorded. There is no crop. However, because it's only sensor shift, if you're using a very wide angle, such as a 12mm lens or anything wider, if you walk around with a lot of movement, you will suffer a lot of wobbling effect at the edges. You will see this in the examples of the video that I'm showing you.
For image stabilization settings, you have to access the super control panel. You can do that by pressing the OK button. Right at the bottom left corner here, there are two image stabilization settings, SIS and MIS. SI stands for Steel's Image Stabilization. This is not what we want to look for now. What we want is the Movie Image Stabilization setting, which is the MIS. Once we go in, there are two modes, MIS 1 and MIS 2. Mode 1 is Sensor Shift plus Digital, and Mode 2 is just Sensor Shift. Tip number five. Slow motion, 120 frames per second, full HD recording. Sound Olympus cameras allows you to shoot 120 frames per second, slow motion. These cameras are EM1X, EM5 Mark III, and EM1 Mark III. All the other cameras do not have these features at this moment. If you're using EM1 Mark II or any other older cameras, there is no 120 frames per second capture. To assess the high speed 120 frames per second slow motion capture, similarly, you have to go to the super control panel here in the video recording settings, press OK to go in and scroll all the way to the right, it should be the last setting option. Here it says FHD, high speed 120 frames, press info. If you choose the slowest frame rate, which is the 24p, you are actually using the 120 frames per second. If you choose any faster settings, then you can see that the slow motion is not that slow, 0 0.42, 0 0.25. The slowest is at 24p at 0 0.2 times slow frame rate. I have also done a full video on the 120 frames per second uh, slow motion capture. You can check out the video. I'll put the video link up here if you haven't seen that video. That's all I have to share about video recording with your Olympus OMD. I know that these tips are very basic, but I also believe that they are sufficient to get you started on video recording. If you have an Olympus OMD camera and if you're not doing any video shooting yet, why not start doing video? Because what you have, the Olympus OMD camera, has the best image stabilization for handheld video recording in any mirrorless or DSLRs out there at the moment. And also the autofocus performance, especially the face and eye detect and tracking during movie recording is also class leading. Not to mention Olympus colors for grad skin tone, it is a good system, especially for beginners who want to start doing video. If you have found this video beneficial, please buy me a cup of coffee. I'll leave a link to how you can do that in the descriptions below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll continue to produce similar content coming this way. Until the next one, please stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.